Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be sharing three tips to help me get stuff done during the day. So if you want to find out what they are, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been documenting my journey for the past 12, 12 to 14 months, I would say. Um, so because of that reason, I tend to post quite a lot of my breakthroughs and the things that I learned during the week. And I tend to go quite in detail in terms of what I've learned and something that cropped up recently is like time during the day and how I leverage time. And a question that I get quite often is how do I leverage time? So, you know, I get people reaching out to me saying, I've got all these goals, I've got all these aspirations, but I don't have time during the day to actually achieve that. So I know where people are coming from. I felt as if I was in the exact same situation at the start of this year. I was coming home from my nine to five and having three, four hours like to work myself. And I felt like that was not enough. However, something that I learned quite quickly is like it's not about how much time you have it's about how, how you leverage that time you could have you know two, two hours to work on yourself at night or in the morning and get more done in that time than what someone than what someone achieves within eight nine ten hours per day you know it's about how you leverage that time and how you use it widely to work towards your goals and, and work smartly as well as hard towards your goals so that's what it's all about so if you're watching this video right now and you're in the mind that you know, you don't have enough time during the day to achieve your goals or you want to leverage the time that you have uh, during the day to achieve your goals and keep on watching. I'm now going to be getting into the three tips that have helped me over the past six months dramatically to increase my productivity and just my overall what I achieve during the day to get stuff done. So tip number one today is daily goals. And this is something that I've been implementing for the past 11 months, I think it is now, and it's made such a difference. It's made an absolute huge impact on the things that I achieve during the day. When I first started off, I was kind of a bit lost, even though I knew how to set daily goals. But it takes it takes maybe a few months to get into that routine of just setting goals and then achieving them. Eventually, you get to the point where if you write a goal down on paper, if you write a daily goal down on paper, you're going to feel as though you've already achieved it. You just you have that confidence in yourself that whatever you write down on paper, then you can achieve. And it's taken a while for me to get to this stage, but I kind of feel like I'm kind of getting there now. So I want to express this and share this tip with you because it's helped me so much. So yeah, I've been setting daily goals for the past 11 to 12 months, as you can see. I usually write them out in, in journals. So we've got one, two, three, that's goal setting. Four, five, and six. And if I just show you what's in it. As you can see, this is just daily journal. And then we have, I don't know if you can see that, all of the daily goals. And that's probably that's probably three, four months worth. And it's just that it's just that constant consistency of doing it day after day after day and building up that confidence. And it really helps increase the your productivity rate during the day because if you have five daily goals and you get all those and you make sure that you tick off all those goals. Think about how closer you're going to get to your to your long-term goals. It makes such a big impact. It's so easy to go into a new day and think that you know what you're going to do to move closer to your goals, but not have the specific goals to align with those purposes and those goals. So, yeah, aligning your daily goals with maybe your quarterly goals. So if you if you have a, a quarterly goal, relating this back to training for a second, if you have a quarterly goal to consistently put in the work and treat training as a business. You know, those goals are quite open, but it is, a, it is a solid goal. If you have that as a quarterly goal, and then, you know, your daily goals can align with that so that then both of those goals are in line together, and then you can just progress so much more. So if you had a quarterly goal to progress and consistently put in the work and treat training as a business, you could break that up into daily steps of, you know, maybe watch one to two trade recaps. You could back test pound dollar, like the pair behavior on pound dollar, what's different, write down notes, you could spend an hour on that, two hours on that, and then you could have one to back test your trading plan. Just all these little steps, if you think about doing that day in, day out for a month, two months, three months, like it's gonna progress you so much. And I've had, I've experienced this through, through my daily goals, like doing this day after day after day for 12 months solidly. It, it just shows like how much, how much you can achieve day to day. Like there's little, like I talked about in the last video, like those little 1% differences, those little things that you daily do, stuff like this, just helps so much. So tip number one was probably one of the biggest things I've learned over the past 12 months. It's it's something that I learned through Falcon, it's just made a big 
difference overall, so I definitely recommend doing that. So tip number two is time blocks. So I set time blocks for a specific task during the morning time. So for the first four to five hours of the day, I purely use that as focused work that's gonna get me forward, that's gonna move me forward towards my goals and progress me as a person, as a trader, and anything else I wanna accomplish. So for the first four or five hours of the day, I will set specific time blocks on each task or each goal that I do. So if I have a goal to back test my trading plan, I might set an hour to do that or two hours to do that. And once I've achieved that and done it, I'll move on and go on to the next goal. And what that does is it keeps you so focused on what you have to do. Previously, I wouldn't set any time limits on tasks and it would go longer and longer and longer and then I found myself just not achieving as much during the day. And it was a really wake up call when I found this and I just started implementing this and it just changed. It just changed everything because I'm now able to get more done within those four or five hours than I was previously within the full day. And thinking about that is just so, it's just mind blowing when you think about that and when you actually implement it and you see how powerful it is. Um, it's just so incredible what, it is, what this does to you, to your focus. And just having like something as simple as an online timer, setting it for an hour, getting on with back testing or watching a trade recap or like forecasting or something, something that you're passionate about and then work towards during the day and it's just so powerful and I, yeah 100% just recommend it to you guys and yeah just implement it see how you go with it and just and just see the power of it it's just incredible so that's tip number two so tip number three is using airplay mode on your phone in the morning so something I found myself doing previously is and I'm sure a lot of people resonate with this is as soon as you get up in the morning the first thing that you want to do is reach out and get your phone and just check it check Instagram, check Facebook, check social media platforms, check messages, comments, stuff like that. Like it can be so distracting and I found myself, I found myself wanting to do all these things in the morning to get me to the next level but then I found myself, you know, using this time to scroll through messages and stuff, replying that it would take up one to two hours in the morning and then what that does, it, it didn't get me off to a good start in the day and it would just, it would just end up lagging that momentum, that slow momentum that I built up in the morning just distracted me for the whole day and I wouldn't get things done for the full day, you know. So as soon as I started implementing this, and now that I do this, I use it for the first four or five hours during the morning. So as soon as I get up now, it's it's kind of become a habit in my head over the past two months of just don't check your phone, put it on airplane mode if you can, and then use those first four to, four to five hours with those time blocks. It, it works well with that. And just use that to get focused work done no distractions and this provides so much clarity it has for me the, f the very first day that i started implementing this it was just like it was just crazy it was just like one of those those mind-blowing experiences something so small could make such a big dim difference um so yeah it's been huge for me so that is the three tips i hope this video has provided value to you I hope you've taken something away from it if if this if you implement this and this does change change your morning routines and does help actually help Feel free to drop me a message. I would love to hear your story and just how it's helped you because I know personally it's just helped me so much. And for me have to have the opportunity to share that with you guys, just it's just everything, you know. What I said before, going back to what I said before, I'm documenting my journey on Instagram and sharing my stories, sharing the breakthroughs that I have, the struggles that I'm going through and little things like that within my journey that some people don't show. And this platform is a way of expressing my breakthroughs and the things that I've learned so that I can share with with you guys. So yeah, if, if you implement this and it helps you, then feel free to drop me a message. I would love to hear that. And yeah, have a good week guys and crush those goals and let's get it.